Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Fat Money E-NASCAR SK Modified Series. Josh is with me once again, and we got to keep an eye on the man who is the fastest during practice, none other than Triple C. Josh, how are you feeling so far after watching practice laps? I'm feeling, I'm feeling like we might be in for a show. Last case, action, we're in for a great show today. Great race. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to know where we're at, we're at the Lime Rock Park here in Salisbury, Connecticut. Still waiting for someone to land that first qualifying lap. Man, you hear them tires hit those, uh, those, I'm not very familiar with road courses, so apologize uh, to everybody. Oh, Brett Aldridge currently sitting pole. Aaron Aldridge right behind him. Mm. Let's see if this holds for the next lap around. What are you thinking, Josh? Uh, thinking I'm liking what I'm seeing. Brett Aldridge is currently driving for Cactus Jack Racing, his own team. But uh, it's been noted that uh, Brett Aldridge and Aaron Aldridge and Josh Aldridge are related, so they, uh, they try to keep in communication. Yeah, there is. Um, there is no secret that we have made an alliance, a and gentleman agreement. Don't mean to cut you off, Josh, but uh, Brett Aldridge passed that third lap, still held pole. Aaron Aldridge going to hold on to second, and it looks like this is how things are going to go. So, you excited? Yeah, I am. These road courses are growing on me. Oh, look, a gnome. Yeah, that, that gnome is not. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> uh, we're going to do the. If I can find it. All right. Hey, well, remove your hats and stand for our, uh, our song.
All right, my apologies for that short delay there. Uh, we are back here, and let's go ahead and run the order. Starting on the pole and then choosing the uh, outside lane, it looks like. You got Brett Aldridge in that 95 Dirty Mo Radio car. And in second place, you got Aaron Aldridge in that number five Wrangler. And then you got the double O of Billy Ray Dog next on the racing. You got the 21 Whiskey River. And then we got the 007 Snap on Racing currently behind the wheel. Blaze, but from what I hear, that won't last long. The 69 Butt Kicker of Joseph Robinson. And then you got the 98 I Racing of Brad Miller. You got the McConey Setup Shop number 11, Corey Gamble. We got the 59 Hellman's with Christopher Rich. You got the 710 Sparko of Chronix High. We got the 15 Logitech, a Triple C. You got the 19 Pimex, a Chris Chaos. And then in the back, the 26 Brant of Barry Stern Parts Jr. Josh, are you excited? Yes, I am. It's, this is a big race atmosphere. You can just feel it in the air. You know, this may be our first time here. We race the uh, the feeling that you get this track or any other track. Lime Rock's big for a multitude of reasons, and the biggest reason is to us anyway. The I Rock races. Yes. <clears throat> Nice job, and they're just getting things ready to start this race. And these SK Modifieds here at the Lime Rock Park. And you can see the crowd. I mean, there's a road right over there. <laughs> Pit road, maybe? I, I don't know. It looked like there was a restaurant. <laughs> I think that was a road road. <laughs> Track sad restaurant, how about that? <laughs> Gotta have something to do when you're waiting for these cars to go around, huh? Oh yeah. Don't they know we got Sally's taco? I wonder where Sally's is. I don't know. Why well, everybody's revving up engines? So Josh talked to me about choosing the, I guess the inside actually. All right, maybe he did make the right decision. I, but this is our first time here, so we don't know what line works. He's just, we'll see shortly, but normally you would go to the inside the first corner is an inside corner but then it looks like it it jets left right here let's let's get a bird's eye view oh hopefully a different oh. thank you and then it goes right again yeah he probably did make the right call tyler ferguson right there as well Tyler Ferguson, I think it's, I don't know if it's ever really been noted, but uh, all three of these guys are friends. Uh, Brett Aldrich, Aaron Aldrich, and Tyler Ferguson. Uh, Brett Aldrich drives for Tyler Ferguson in one division. Uh, Brett Aldrich drives for Aaron Aldrich in another division. Yeah. Um, and Tyler Ferguson seems to uh, maybe get a little help from both of them. I'm not, I'm not quite too sure over there at Ferguson Motorsports. Um, but whatever the case is, uh, Everybody seems to be working together here uh, with the 21 team all the way around Ferguson Motorsports, Cactus Jack Racing, and Aldridge Racing. Yeah, they're, they're definitely friends. Uh, they've been known to hit the golf course a time or two. Here we go. Big jump. Yeah, I would say Brett did, in fact, make the right call.
Aaron Aldridge trying to win for the second time at a uh, at a road course. And the thing, he grew up hating these things. One thing we can't see from current position is the back of the field, which is where things are going to get exciting. Oh, yes. It's done been proven that back here is where. Whoa! Oh, look at here! Oh! Just as we was talking about it. And he gets right back going. Chris Chaos lost it. Going to the corner. Stay green. Wow. Oh, oh. get back up to our leader here who's doing pretty well uh aaron aldridge got passed by billy ray dog tyler ferguson just fell back to fourth joseph robinson currently behind chris chaos or sorry not chris chaos blaze uh my apologies. Uh, cup race. straight line racing right now. Everybody seems to have everything sorted out. Halfway caution is going to be on nine. Aaron Aldridge trying to work his way back up past Billy Ray Dog. And Brick's got a decent sized lead on him. Right now, Brett Aldridge cannot be touched. No, nah, he is pulling away. Chris Chaos, who spun out there, but we stayed green. There, he's certain parts looking to pass Christopher Rich, possibly. Blaze is actually doing pretty good here. You got the 11, the Corey Gamble, 21, Tyler Ferguson, the 5 of Aaron Aldridge. Billy Ray Dog in that double O in second. And currently in first place, Brett Aldridge. It seems like they're gaining on him ever so slightly in turn, but he, let's see how he does on this straightaway. But it seems like they are catching up to Bria. The camera guy up there in the sky is doing extremely well here. Thank you. Touch him in the straightaways, Josh. No. Two to go. To the halfway caution.
gain a lot of ground there. That double O of Billy Ray Dog is fighting, Josh. Fighting for everything he has, and he just don't have enough at the One to go. Josh, what I overheard on that radio you're just listening to, Aaron Aldridge chose to be third on purpose. Seems like he has a pitch, uh, not a pitch strategy, but a race strategy that he's on the uh, restart after the mandatory caution. Let's see if it works out for him. He'll take the preferred line. I mean, this strategy could change if Brad Aldridge doesn't choose the line they're assuming he's going to go with. Well, don't you remember how we all want have it out of alliance? I'm sure communication was talked through not only him, but Tyler as well. Chris Chaos really open on this, too. <clears throat> Caution's out, caution's out. And here we go. Really doing a great job, man. We'll keep working on this thing for you. How you doing inside there? You feeling okay? All right, Josh, how you feeling? I'm feeling like we're fixing to see something exciting. Now, will these drivers hit pit road? I, that, I don't know. From what I heard, they uh, they should be good on fuel. So it really just comes down to tire, tires. Tires. Josh. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, but you never know. These people in the back that have nothing to lose, try and pull something. But we'll see. As the field catches up to the pace car. Chris Chaos is probably really happy with this uh, bringing everyone together. Oh, yeah. After that spin he took, he's probably the, the real winner here on Tossin because he gets a fresh start and catches back up to the field. But definitely keep your eye on the bag on this restart. That's where Mayhem will. And how often do we catch them live? Huh? I don't know. That was a stroke of just, we just got lucky. We're going to be watching them on this reset. Be great if he had two camera angles because we need one on the start up in the front and one in the back, but we have to work with what we have.
Hopefully they get restacked this time around. We'll see. Right now, the most important thing is what line is the 95 going to choose? Everyone thinks they know. They've coordinated back to uh, not exactly their, their partner on the same team, but their cousin on a different team. So let's see if everyone sticks to strategy. Yeah, look at here. Aaron leaving quite a gap. Not sure what's going on there. Hmm. Aaron acting like there's a car between. That is a. Hmm. Not sure what's going on. Yeah, I'm a little confused there with Aaron Aldridge myself. Or is Aaron just open on a run? Don't know, but this is, this is a weird strategy. That is odd. They're asking about it on the radio, and he's not saying a Hmm. I guess we'll find out on this restart, huh, Josh? Reckon we... Oh, is he pulling... No, oh, here he comes. He pulled up. Oh, look at this. What we got going on here? Oh, the 11! He threw flag. off the 11! Aaron Aldridge threw off the 11! Or, sorry, the 21! He threw off Tyler Ferguson well, with his restart. Bill Radon jumps to the lead. Mayhem. And Aaron Aldridge tried to throw off Tyler in the restart, and in the process, they gave it all to Billy Radon. What happened there, Josh? I have no idea. A lot of cussing going on in the radio. Josh just tried to turn it on. And uh, it looked like it paid off for him, and then they just lost it. Billy Ray Dog is took off. Aaron Aldridge is falling back now to fifth. Maybe he skipped a gear or something. What happened? But that alliance with Tyler Ferguson, I don't, I don't know how long that's going to last now. Aaron Aldridge tried to play a trick and it backfired. The man always finds a way to hit headlines, don't he? <laughs> yes, he does. Billy Ray Dog right now in the lead. Billy Ray Dog has four laps to go. Can he hold it, Josh? I don't know. Three he laps to like go. He, he may can. Red Aldridge is trying to catch up here. If we go back just a little bit, we'll see Aaron Aldridge catching back up. He got the 26 to the 15, and Tyler Ferguson has fallen back now to eighth place in that restart. Right now, Billy Ray Dog is pulling away. And I think the question on everybody's mind is will Billy Ray Dog win here at Lime Rock? Two laps to go, Josh.
Well, right now, nobody has anything for him. It's his race to lose. I mean, that restart was something of wonder. I mean, we were confused here in the booth. Even Josh was confused, and he doesn't seem happy about it now. Uh, Aaron pulled back and then jumped forward on the restart, but in the process, he kind of took wind from him and Brett Aldridge, which gave Billy Ray Dog the advantage. Maybe he was having engine trouble or a mess in his engine, I'm not sure. I'm sure because white flag. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of questions that need answers. Well, hopefully, maybe one of them will get with Chris Snyder when he does the report uh, halfway through the week. And right now, Billy Ray Dog holding strong, but last lap, never know what's going to happen. Everyone's going to pull out all the stops. He can, help, he can hear Billy Ray Dog even all the way up here pushing it to the max. He says that I need this win. And I think win it he shall as he gets to the line. Here we go. Billy Ray Dog wins at Lime Rock Park. Top five goes as follows. Billy Ray Dog in first, second place, Brett Aldridge. Third place, Corey Gamble. Fourth place is Joseph Robinson. Fifth place, Aaron Aldridge. And go ahead and pause it and read the screen if you want to know the rest of the way down. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Congratulations, Congratulations Billy Ray Dog.